Hi, I'm Joe Sando. Um, I work at Netflix as of last year. I work for Carl Quinn of the Drama Posse, and I will um, I will ask Carl to interrupt me as soon as I violate any contracts I might have signed with Netflix. This is what I do for my job. It's called the Netflix Application Console. We're working on a new name. It is uh, the cloud deployment tool for approximately 100 engineers at Netflix um, who use the Amazon cloud to deploy all of their code and have services calling between over 1,000 instances uh, at Amazon. So this page here just shows all of our uh, 100 plus applications running from AB Cache through API and to Yum Repo uh, and various things about them. The, uh, the primary object we are interested in at Amazon is something called the auto-scaling group. It's basically a combination of um, a container of lots of instances that might be one instance, zero instances, a hundred, maybe a thousand instances, uh, and it can uh, be trained to uh, get bigger and smaller as Netflix grows really fast because it's the Emmys, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's the Oscars, and it's, uh, you know, and then there's, suddenly there's no activity because everybody heard bad news and then Netflix is, you know, quiet for a little while. Uh, so the whole point is we have no ability to make a data center this quickly. Um, and we have no ability to tear down a data center and, and remove the cost this quickly. But with, uh, with this tool and with Amazon, we can um, change things very rapidly. Uh, this is the auto-scaling group page where uh, this, is, this is what we would call engineering UI. Uh, it wasn't, it was even worse a while back. Uh, that's my claim. Um, these, uh, these icons, uh, some people seem to like, they're from the Tango Open Source Project, which I'll talk about tomorrow. Uh, a couple of them I made, most of them I didn't. The ones that I made are the ones that don't look so good. <laughs> the, um, so the auto-scaling group has in it um, the ability to do a rolling push of instance after instance, maybe 10 instances at a time, maybe one instance at a time, depending on how much you can suffer, you know, how much your group needs to have up at one time. So if you were to, um, to want to push uh, your new code out, you would choose an AMI, an Amazon Machine Instance, I'm sorry, an Amazon <laughs> Machine Image, uh, which is basically like a VMware image, but Amazon made it. And it's, uh, from this list, you basically choose which one you want, a couple of configurations about how you want it done, and then you let this machine go and do its rolling thing, where it emails you at the end when it's done. Um, we're t working on something new where we have disposable groups and we just version them by name and say why don't you just make a new group so you don't have like heterogeneous groups, you just have a new group. Throw away the old group. Uh, so this is kind of like in progress. Uh, what we see here is some instances that I've uh, recently trained Amazon to say take these out of service and replace them the minute that they start behaving badly. And uh, it's not working that well. This has been going up and down every 15 minutes since I left California. Um, if you want, so the, this whole architecture here is running on uh, Grant, which gives you the fantastic ability, whenever somebody says, how do I get data out of this thing? I want to know what's going on, but I want to do it in my script. Uh, they can just change the URL from show to show.json, and poof, they get the data. And I didn't write anything for this. Uh, I'll show you the, the amount of code I had to write to produce this output, which is the exact same information that was on that HTML page. Um, in Grails, they basically said, what are your common use cases? Let's make them as short as possible with almost no code. You say, with format JSON, new JSON, whatever that map object was, render response. And that's it. I have no idea how it works. <laughs> uh, then, um, let's see, what's the most interesting thing? I'm going to stop early. That's it. Thank you.